Hi there, my name is Marche Matthews Noel, and I'm a current senior in the environmental engineering department here at the Whitaker College of Engineering. Now, I remember when I was in your shoes, I was a little nervous getting ready for Red Rider orientation, but super excited for those challenges ahead of me. Luckily, here at the college, there are plenty of resources to help us invest in our future and help us be successful. So, come take a walk with me and let's go talk to some students about it. So honestly, it's really hard for me to pick what my favorite thing is about the college because I have been here for a while. But I honestly have to say the amount of hands-on labs that we have here, no matter what department you're in, you're able to get that experience that you're going to use in industry. And I think that's truly an invaluable experience to have. But I want to hear from a student. So let's ask Nayeli. She's also in my department. Hey, Nayeli. Hey, so Marche. what would you say is your favorite thing about being in the Whitaker College of Engineering? I think my favorite thing is definitely the open door policy. The Definitely the civil engineering professors, they're really like nice and not only are they helping you with your homework, they're also helping you with like advice about internships, mm -hmm. they're also like, maybe they're also just trying to make you laugh, don't bring water, but <laughs> example. And like that's just there to like basically show that they're not intimidating and it's just great to have them. Yeah, most definitely. Like that's been super helpful for me, especially when I have questions in class and I feel intimidated asking in front of my peers. Professors are always open to helping us out with that. So I definitely agree. Thank you so much. Of course. So that's one perspective. Let's go ask another student from a different department. So another thing I really like about the college is the opportunity to meet with companies through the different info sessions that are hosted. Oh wait, here's Precious. Let's ask her. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing really good. Awesome. Can I bother you for a moment? Absolutely. So what would you say is your favorite thing about the engineering college? My favorite thing about this college would definitely be the job fair that we have every single semester and students in this college have the opportunity to be attend every single semester yeah. if they want to. Um, this gives us a chance to be able to grow our networking skills and communication skills with people in the industry so we can secure a job after college or even an internship. And also like how they provide us with tools to get ready for big events like this. So we're able to like go to resume critiques, interview workshops, and just like mock interviews as well too. So. Yeah, for sure. We have an 89% job placement right here in the college. And like I said, I am a senior. So I'll be graduating next next month and I already have a job upon graduation so I'm really excited about that so thanks I really agree with that awesome get back to studying thank you <laughs> so there are a lot of cool resources and things that make us unique here in the Edward Wood College of Engineering let's go talk to an engineering diplomat and see what they have to say about our international experience So a really super fun thing that every engineering student gets to have is an international experience. So here's Roman, let's ask him about it. Hey Roman. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Awesome, I'm doing pretty good. So tell us, what is our international experience requirement? Okay, so it's an opportunity for students to get to go abroad and see engineering uh, outside of the US. Um, you get to do either six week summer terms or entire semesters. Get to go to countries like, uh, or continents like Europe, Asia, Central America, and South America. Wow, that's really cool. So how do we get started? So we have a website, the TTU IEP, where you can look through, uh, see what programs we currently have to offer. Uh, you can do intern, research, or study abroad. Wow. Also, uh, you can come by here uh, in front of the TTU COE. You can come talk to engineering diplomat. Awesome. So where did you go? I got to go to uh, Rome, Italy with John Cabot. Um, got to experience the Italian culture as well as travel through Europe and see what uh, the entire continent had to offer. Wow. Was that a study abroad experience? Yes. Awesome. That's super cool. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, of course. Thank of course. you. Of course. And so I actually interned abroad in Australia and that was a super fun experience and it was really good to get immersed in all of that culture there as well. Oh, hey, Nayeli. Hey, yeah. How's it going? Can I bother you? Yes, of course. Awesome. So where did you go abroad? Um, I actually interned in Shenzhen, China. Yeah. Um, it was pretty awesome. The company helped me learn more about AutoCAD, and there was no culture barrier because they actually spoke English, and they actually helped me with my Mandarin, even though I knew very little, but they still <laughs> helped me. <laughs> That's super cool. Did you get to do anything super fun while you were there? I think one of the coolest things I did was actually go on the ferry. Uh, there's a ferry from Hong Kong to China, and it was like nighttime, so like it was like rocking the boat, and I didn't know any Mandarin so it was just like oh my gosh is everything gonna be okay it was it turned out pretty awesome awesome that's super cool <laughs> thanks so much for your time I'll let you go on to class thank you of course so there are a lot of things I wish I knew my first year whenever I was here at Tech and one of those things was time management it is super important to have that skill down as an engineering student because that's how we can be successful so let's go take a look and see some students who are using that skill right now 
So throughout your four years here, there are so many things to learn and that requires time management. So there are some study groups in here. Let's ask them how they manage their time. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Awesome, so I have a couple questions for you guys. So what is something you wish you knew before coming into college or something that you learned while you were in college? Um, one thing I wish I knew before coming to college is all the programs that students can be involved in. So we have mentor programs that provide students with mentors. And so this is extremely beneficial because coming to college can be really scary. But by having someone who's like there to like provide you like support, offer like guidance and just help you manage time can really make a difference and just help you transition to college a lot more better. I definitely second that. Um, so I was part of the first mentor program through the College of Engineering and having a mentor who has been in your shoes and who is studying the same major as you, um, having them uh, as a resource who you can ask all of your you know, embarrassing silly questions to, um, seek guidance, how do I get started with a resume, how do I go about finding an internship, was, was super helpful and that was something I definitely I wish I knew um, was an option for me. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. All right, so here's Javier and Ivan. Let's ask them. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, and yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So what is something you wish you knew before joining the College of Engineering? Yeah, definitely something would be open to joining organizations, mainly here at the College of Engineering. I mean, there are so many to join, and it's really based on major. So, I mean, there could be some for your specific Roles in engineering, maybe that's mechanical, electrical, chemical, civil. You know, these organizations really help you not only grow as an engineer, but also as a human. You know, you take these leadership roles and you really understand more about time management and more like developing and honing those skills as you take it into the professional setting. And I mean, Ivan's definitely going to tell you something about his experiences for sure. Yeah, not only did I gain a lot of like professional and business. Uh, you know, information for engineering jobs, but I also learned a lot about myself and about other people, and I learned how to talk to other people and make friends in these organizations. And the great part about these organizations is that we all have the same interests, you know, we're all trying to be a better engineer and a better student, and so it, it's hard not to make a friend. For sure, something that I always tell incoming students is to look for three different organizations. It could be two for fun, one for professional growth, or two for professional growth and one for fun. And then having that scheduled time of when you're going to invest in yourself helps you achieve that time management that we were talking about. So thank you guys so much, really appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. for sure. So let's go talk to this group over here and see what they have to say. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hey. pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. So, if you don't mind me asking, what is something you wish you knew before joining the College of Engineering? So something I wish I knew was probably like check our emails regularly. Yeah. We agree. Yes. Like we get a lot of events updates, like the SI sessions, like the Engineering Opportunity Center. That's so true. Yeah. So like the SIs, oh my god, they help so much. Mm -hmm. Like it's a big help, honestly. Yeah. yeah sure. Like one of the like things I ever learned was from my um, SI instructor. She was like saying like the hardest part is showing up mm -hmm. and I feel like that is so true because like you're so nervous about like oh my gosh I'm co going to a classroom where I don't understand anything and sometimes you're just like oh it's okay I don't want to go but like actually showing up and then you're just so thankful that you did. Yeah for sure like those supplemental instruction classes or SI sessions they're really great to help students Feel more comfortable in those classes for sure. Definitely went to those a lot. And we learn it all from the emails. Yes, that's all very true. <laughs> what about you? And to add on to that, you know, something I learned about was the learning center where they helped me get through some of these tougher classes, you know, especially uh, the chemistry. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, like, oh, no. Yeah, no, the tutors there were really helpful. And you know, I learned a lot from them. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I hope you guys learned some tips from these students. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today and I hope you learned some really valuable information. I want to leave you guys, you guys with some advice. Here in college, it's your time to lay that foundation and become the person that you hope to be in the future. So use your time wisely. Ask questions, reach out for help, meet new people, and figure out who you want to be. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your time here at Right Writer Orientation and we look forward to seeing you guys in the coming semesters. Recco.